Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick video to talk about VPNs. Uh, we'll be in the next few weeks looking at different VPNs, free and paid. And of course, we'll giving my opinion on it. And uh, of course, for those that wonder what's a VPN, a VPN is a virtual private network. It is a security feature that you can actually add to your computer so that basically you have an encrypted tunnel between your computer and the internet. So because you're on an encrypted tunnel, your internet service provider doesn't know what you're doing. And also uh, pretty much nobody knows what you're doing because it's encrypted all the way, which makes it very difficult to see what you are doing on the internet. It is a great, great feature if you use m mobile hotspots all the time because it just basically secures you a lot and if you just worry about privacy having everybody know all the time where and what you do well this is a great way to do it today we talk about tunnel bear free VPN and it is a nice VPN easy to use one of the easiest to use that you can imagine of course you can have paid services and you'll know why in a few moments so tunnel bear you can get it at tunnelbear.com. Free, of course, um, to use for its basic features. And you need to, of course, set up an account with just email and password. It doesn't ask you anything else except email and password. We'll need to confirm your email. And once it's done, it works on every device. What's cool with Tunnelbear, which is right here, is the fact that Tunnelbear actually works on every device. So once you've set up an account, What's really nice is that TunnelBear is actually available for both Mac, PCs, iOS, so your iPad, your iPhone, and Android. And so I've got it on my Android and my Windows machine right now, and it works really, really well. It's extremely easy to use. Once TunnelBear is activated, what you get is this little application here. And you have very easy to use on-off switch and here on the right side of the on off switch, connected automatic. Right now, you have a visual of where I'm connected. I'm connected in Mexico. And you know what? I tested it. I went and I asked, where am I with what's my IP? And here it is. It told me, oh, you're in Guadalajara in Mexico. And of course, in choosing the auto mode, you are at different places around the world, never at the same place technically adds more security if you want. Now you can also click here in the auto and choose the country you want to connect to. So you just choose in a list the country you want to connect to and this makes this VPN so easy to use it's amazing. So for somebody that has very little technical knowledge you just install this you got an on off switch and you choose your country or you let it to automatic and every time you connect it connects you to a different spot. Now, what's the negative point about this VPN is the fact that the free version limits you a little bit. At the bottom right, you see here it says 483 megabyte left for this month. So that means if you don't want to pay, uh, it could be all right if you don't use a lot of data. If it's just to check your email or check in from time to time on Facebook, uh, while you're away or just privately it's going to be fine but it's not meant for you to use and watch videos from other countries and things like that because it will of course take that megabyte down a lot now you can tweet about them if you do they actually upgrade you to one gigabyte of free data per month and of course if you need a full-fledged um, working uh, VPN that will let you do whatever you want then you've got pricing here on the top you can click it gives you uh, the price for how much you want so for example free 500 megabyte of data for free or 9.99 a month unlimited data you pay monthly and of course you've got uh, a yearly account that you can actually pay which actually halves the price from 9.99 you go down to 4.99 so it costs you uh, 59 for 88 for 12 months. Now you're wondering, okay, why should I pay for a VPN? Remember one thing, VPNs, free VPNs have a lot of limits 
and most free VPNs are often slow. Uh, a really good VPN is a paid service. It's the best way to have a, a really good VPN. So, you know, check this out uh, at $5 a month, and, and it's not that much if you really want to stay secure. But at least, you know, if you want to have just a basic functionality, nothing more than just a basic functionality, no problem. You know what? You just download this, um, and, and basically you will be at the uh, 500 megabyte level. Once again, if you tweet about it, one gigabyte. And for a lot of people, that could be enough. You know, if you're just using a VPN temporarily for certain specific things, it will be fine and it will work fine, free of charge. And of course, you can add that to all your devices at the same time. So Tunnel Bear, one of the interesting uh, and mostly what I find cool, very easy to use uh, VPN services. So if you, I, I disconnect here, for example, brings me back to where I am in Canada. But let's reconnect again and it says auto. Well, it, where will it connect me next? Okay, it connects me to Mexico again. But, um, you know, there are different places, of course. If I, you know, go here and I choose, well, I want to be connected to the United Kingdom. Well, it's going to do a... Uh, a United Kingdom connection. So here we go. I'm connected there. And now let's let's try it again. So let's go to uh, the uh, what's my IP here, and let's ask what's the IP again to see what it's going to tell me. So while I ask for my IP, here the IP has changed. It tells me I'm the city of London in England, United Kingdom. So it works really well because it really really. Um, makes your computer connect to somewhere else in the world. Remember, last little thing, when you connect to VPNs, sometimes some VPNs, especially when it's free, might actually slow down your connections on the internet. As for your apps and your programs that connect to the web, you have nothing to do. Once this is on, once you've put that switch here and on, everything you do in every app will think you are at that position, at that place, will be encrypted. You'll have that encrypted tunnel from here to there. So I've got right now an encrypted tunnel from my computer all the way to the computer there in the United Kingdom. So easy to use, but remember it has a limit, uh, but you can of, of course upgrade it to a paid service. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and of course the link to the download of the um, Tunnel Bear will be in the description below the video. So this is the first in a look of different free and paid VPN services on the internet.